Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong module 5 about future and present values of simple and witty. Next dito naman sa practice activity number 2. How much should you invest in a fund each year paying 2% compounded annually to accumulate 100,000 pesos in 5 years? So, ilan daw yung i-invest mo or yung ilan daw yung magiging periodic payment mo? Kaya, ang hahanapin natin dito ay R is equal to P all over 1 minus quantity of 1 plus I raised to the power of negative N all over I. Ano ba yung P natin dito? Ang present value ay 100,000 pesos. So, P equals 100,000 pesos. And then, ang rate natin is 2%. So, that is equal to 0 0.02. Ang N naman natin is R over K. That is 0 0.02 over compounded annually. Kaya, over 1 yan. So, 0 0.02 divided by 1 equals 0 0.02 pa rin. And then, uh, sorry, dapat ay ito. Ang N naman natin is M times T. Ang M natin is compounded annually kaya 1 times ang T. Ilang year yun? 5 years. So, ang N natin is 5 times 1 equals 5. By substitution, ang P natin or present value is 100,000 pesos over 1 minus 1 plus ang I natin is 0 0.02. Raised to the power of negative n, ang n is 5, all over i na 0 0.02. Kunin muna natin yung nasa denominator. So, that would be 100,000 pesos over 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.02 equals 1.02. Raised to the power of negative 5, all over 0 0.02. Then, using our calculator... Ito munang nasa, yung may exponent muna, 1.02 raised to the power of negative 5 is equal to 0 0.90573 and many more. Then, isubtract natin sa 1 minus answer equals, ayan, and then i-divide natin sa 0 0.02. So, that would be equal to 4.71345950 and then, i-divide natin yan sa 100,000 pesos. Divided by answer is equal to 21,215. 21,215.84 pesos by rounding to the nearest hundreds. So, ito daw yung babayaran mo annually to get 100,000 pesos in 5 years. Nakuha ninyo? Alright. So, ganyan ang gawin ninyo sa Independent Activity 2. Dito naman sa Independent Activity 3, the buyer of a lot pays 60,000 pesos cash and 10,000 pesos every month for 10 years. If money is 8% compounded monthly, how much is the cash price of the lot? So, i-identify natin yung mga given. Nagbayad daw siya ng... 60,000 ka. So, ang down payment mo is equal to 60,000 pesos. Ngayon, this is the present value every month. P equals 10,000 pesos for every month. Ang rate na ginamit is 8%. So, that is 8% or 0 0.08. Compounded monthly. So, meaning ang M natin is equal to 12. Ang N naman natin is M times T. So, ang M natin is 12 times ang T natin that is 10 years, kaya 10. So, 12 times 10 is equal to 120. We will now use the formula of present value. Kunin muna natin ito. Huwag muna natin pakailaman yung cash na binayad niyan, yung down payment. Saka na lang natin yan idagdag mamaya pag na-compute na natin to. So, 10,000 pesos times 1 
minus 1 plus, ang i natin pala, wala pa yung i, is r over k. So, ang rate natin is 0 0.08 divided by, ang k natin is 12 kasi monthly. 0 0.08 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.006. So, yun yung i natin, 0 0.006. 0.006 raised to the power of negative, ang n natin is 120. All over, ang i natin is 0.006. Nasundan ninyo? Then, simplify 10,000 pesos times 1 minus 1.006 raised to the power of negative 120 all over 0 0.006. Pwede naman natin idiretso na lang to sa calculator. Pero kung gusto ng teacher ninyo na show your solution, kailangan ninyong ilagay. Unahin natin yung may exponent. 1.006 raised to the power of negative 120 is equal to, ayan, and then 1 minus yung answer kanina. And then, i-divide natin sa 0 0.006 equals 85.36. Multiply natin sa 10,000 pesos, that would be equal to 853,665.60 or 70 by rounding to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so ganyan kalaki yung present value. Tapos, i-add na natin ito sa down payment na 60,000 pesos. The cash value is equal to 853,665.70. I-add natin yung 60,000 pesos. So, that is equal to 5, 6, 6, 3. 5 plus 6 equals 11, carry 1. 913,665.70 pesos. Ito yung cash price. Okay? Yan yung cash price na babayaran niya sa lupa. 60,000 pesos yung dinaw niya and 10,000 every month yung hinuhulugan niya for 10 years with 8% compounded monthly. Okay. Nakasundan ninyo? Ganyan ang gawin ninyo sa practice number 3. Yun lamang mga anak kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung future and present value of general annuity naman. I-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!